Now, more proof of the catastrophic cost of the opioid epidemic. For the second year in a row, life expectancy in the United States drops down a tenth of a year to 78.6 years. The reason? 63,600 drug deaths in 2016. On the same day that report comes out, a coalition of Illinois prosecutors blames prescription drug makers for the opioid crisis. Here's CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas. The source of this crisis is not on street corners, it's in boardrooms. Prosecutors from five counties, Lake, Kane, DuPage, Will, and McHenry, filed lawsuits today charging drug companies with intentionally deceiving the public and doctors about the risks of prescription opioid use. And we want to hold them accountable for the destruction and devastation that they've caused in our communities. The number of dead is staggering. A member of our community dies about once every five days. In many cases, addiction starts with prescription painkillers, but often ends with heroin and fentanyl, and it can happen to anyone. I've been to Helen back. The former high school wrestler got hooked on pain pills, then heroin for six years. I promised myself day in and day out, I'm not getting high than tomorrow. And then by noon, I would have a needle in my arm. Everyone in this room, it, it could fall victim to an opioid Addiction. Glasgow says Purdue Pharma was fined for withholding studies showing how addictive OxyContin was. They paid that $635 million like it was coffee money. So the profits are obscene, and that's what's driving this. Prosecutors say drug makers should pay for the fallout, including the higher cost of health care, crime fighting, lower workplace productivity, and social issues. Named in the lawsuit, Purdue Pharma, Endo, and Janssen, just to name a few, Janssen told us in a statement they believe the allegations in the lawsuits against our company are both legally and factually unfounded. You can check out other responses at our website. And Rob and Erica, these lawsuits are popping up across the country. Chicago and Illinois also have suits pending. Okay. Roseanne, thank you.